today we have a special announcement and it's a special day for a special announcement. To make that uh, announcement, would you please make welcome the Minister for Sport and Recreation, Mia Davies. Minister. From this point forward, uh, while well, we've got some formalities to go through, the, the WA Basketball Centre will now be known as the Bendat Basketball Centre and on Dr Bendat's 90th birthday, we at the State Government think that this is absolutely appropriate given the contribution that Dr Bendat has made, not only to elite uh, basketball and sport in Western Australia, but the fact that under his uh, leadership there has been extensive involvement from basketball and our elite sports people into community sports as well and uh, across the board in terms of his philanthropic contribution, we believe it's a, a fantastic uh, agreement and we are very pleased to have been able to reach that. It's so important that if you take, you must give back. And I've been lucky, very lucky, having beautiful people with me and being able to say that I contributed something back to Western Australia. The Wildcats is by far the best team in Australia. But that wasn't good enough. The boys wanted the women, and the women are now joining our family. Hopefully so. We will go from last place to first place. Unfortunately or fortunately, I have a reputation. Anything I do must be done the best. We don't take second place, we only take first place. A lot of what he's done behind the scenes go, goes unpraised. So, you know, we get to stand at the front of it as players and be thanked by, you know, the school children or the children in hospital. Um, all the clinics we do at things like midnight, ma uh, midnight basketball in low socioeconomic areas. But the reality is we're representing the club and we're a representative of Jack. And it's because of Jack that he wants us to go out and do 350 hours of community service per season, each player. Um, and we do that, get the, the benefits of it, but the reality is it would never happen if it wasn't for Jack. So I came from a team in Sydney where I got an email from our owner a month before Christmas saying, I'm not going to pay you anymore, I'm sick of losing money. Silver lining of that is I've been able to move to Perth, play for a club where you get paid on time, get to go out into the community and train in a facility like this that is now deservedly so called the Bendat Basketball Centre. So it's a great day and to be able to be here for his 90th birthday on such a, as we said, an auspicious occasion, it's a privilege.